right, so we keep talking about food and getting food and stacking food, even if it's one little bag of rice at a time, even if it's a thing of pasta or two at a time. You see what's going on with the grain, right? You see what's happening? India dropping everything off. They say that's, that's what, 25%? But can 25% really affect how much we have or what the price is? I would say so with current situations altogether, supply chain issues have been a little wonky for the past couple years to say the least. Doesn't look like they're gonna get much better. If there's any WW3 action, it's gonna get 10 times worse. So say you cut off 25%, what if it caused a panic? I've heard some places this stuff's already gone up. It's just a race. And uh, I was lucky enough to get a couple of these bags for free, believe it or not, and they're still good. Uh, I have a friend who gets a oversupply of some stuff and every once in a while he's like, hey, you know, you need any of that stuff? Sure, I'll take He knows I'll take it whenever I can. Um, but when that stuff disappears, even though it's only 25%, look what you're looking at. 25%, a little bit of supply chain issue. Say 50% of it comes through what normally comes through. It's going to cause a little bit of supply and demand. It's going to cause uh, some spots, maybe some panic. Get food now, right? We've been saying that for a couple years. We were saying this before the <laughs> all that stuff was going on, right? Before that, you should have been stacking. Because these 25-pound bags of rice were like $7. Now they're, uh, I think the last one I got was around 15 bucks or something like that. I mean, more than double. I don't even know what it's at right now. I, I'm feeling content in that area, but I got a couple for free. I'll take them. I'll can them up. Everything will be all right. I'm trying to get other stuff to go with it still, and I'm getting a little bit of 30-year shelf life stuff, but some of that stuff has gone through the roof. Buckets I was buying for fourteen dollars are like thirty. I mean, and that's only for a couple days supply, and it's not a full enough meal. I mean, this is a way cheaper way to go. But I, that's my main stay when I first started doing everything. I was doing that and just grabbing it and grabbing it every time we went chop another twenty-five pound bag, maybe two, maybe three. You know, you get your first thousand pounds of rice stacked up. You're like, oh man, I got rice. Really. It's kind of empty calories, but if you have enough stuff to put with them, that's why I've been buying the cases of cans. Case of cans, every chance I get. Switching over, you gotta, gotta mix it up. You can't eat the same thing all the time, and you can't just drink water either. That's another thing. I've been trying to work on getting some of the different little packets that you can put into water <clears throat> just to change the flavor. Um, that's a whole other story. You need to be getting stuff right now. You need to be getting stuff right now. I still gotta and all that stuff up but i've got it already you know these things were like two for a dollar at the dollar tree four years ago or whatever it was and then they went up to like a whole dollar at the dollar tree now everything in the dollar tree is a dollar 25 and up so they got a whole like up to five dollar section now or whatever but before how long will a two pound bag drop down to well, what is this one this is a one pound bag this is what i'm saying so not only will the price just go up that, I mean, that's 25% hike at the Dollar Tree from a, a dollar to a dollar 25. Bad enough, right? Now you're going to get half the, half the bag of rice or now you're going to get that full pound of pasta. I don't know exactly where he got these from, but just saying, the amount of what you're getting is a lot less and the price is just going up. You need to be stacking. You need to. I didn't say hoarding, get stuff that, when I first started, it was like, oh my gosh, rice, oh my gosh, rice, that I'm sitting on. That was a crack of thunder, and I saw a big flash, flash of lightning, but we haven't had much rain here in the past few months. It's like the fourth rainfall or fifth, it's crazy. Guys, you need to have the stuff on you. You need to have it on you when you need it, whatever the situation may be. Even if you're just buying it now so you save money later, you should be having this stuff on you. I can't tell you how many different times we needed this, we needed that. Oh, we're out of pasta. Here, let me run and grab some and I didn't can up yet. Even if I had it canned, I've grabbed things of sugar before, stuff like that was already canned. Get what you can when you can. Keep stacking. I got a madhouse upstairs. I got a thunderstorm outside. It's just crazy. <laughs> Get more food. <laughs> First time here, give us a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. If you like what you saw or thumbs down, you hear everybody say, here, give me one of those. That'd be cool. If you do the down, hit it twice. Yeah, that would work great. Um, and besides that, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you're doing. Uh, 
have you guys got enough of everything you think you need? You got three months, nine months, six months a year. What is it? It doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to tell me how much you have. I'm just saying, do you have something in case of an emergency? Like a two or... If you had one whole month's worth of supplies, that should cover you during a lot of natural disasters. It's just those ones that are like, poof, and the whole house burns down and you lost what you did have or say you had six months in the same spot. So like my thing is to try to do like maybe three months worth of stuff in each different location that I possibly can. It's kind of a... Uh, even if you have one month here, one month there, one month, and you had an issue, you lost your job, you whatever, you don't have the money to go get everything you need. I know I got a month's worth of food that I can work on while I'm going out hustling something else up. A uh, tree falls on your house. You're in a hotel and you don't want to spend no more money. Maybe the insurance is paying for that and whatever else. But look, I got a month's worth of food. I should be okay. Food insurance, people. <laughs> So let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you still stacking? Are you not? A lot of people seem like they faded right out. They got so scared they grabbed whatever they could during all these crazy times and then stopped. So they, they're, they're not really rotating. They're not really adding to. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Have a good day.